Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 14th November 2023. So first we are going to take Delhi edition of The Hindu and we are going to pick out the important articles and later on we are going to see the perspectives like how many dimensions we can think about that topic and later on we are going to see detailed analysis of those topics. So we are going to focus on only the articles which are relevant from our examination point of view and because of elections in number of states so most of the articles are political articles so don't spend much time on those political articles because you will be getting nothing you will be getting nothing if you are focusing on political articles so one more question here is how can we pick out those articles so how we will know that so and so article is important from our examination point of view so this is the question of many of you right so the answer for this question is go through the syllabus copy and take entire one day of time and try to buy hard the syllabus like which topics are there near gs1 and that to under geography polity right and uh, history and as well as environment and ecology science and technology you have to buy hard each and every topic so that whenever you are going through this newspaper you will be understanding like yes i found this keyword in the syllabus so this article is relevant yes pollution is seen in our syllabus under environment and ecology so if you see any pollution like land pollution soil pollution or air pollution water pollution so that topic is important from environment and ecology so in this way syllabus will guide you to pick which articles are important and which articles are not important from examination point of view so it is not only in the case of upsc but even for any other competitive examination and one more guide here is other than our syllabus copy you have to see your pre pyq so it is previous years questions so if you have gone through the previous years questions of at least 5 to 10 years then you will be knowing that so from which area the question is asking so you can take down the list of keywords and if you find that keywords in the paper yes that article will be also relevant from your examination point of view so this is the key to read newspaper i reveal the secret okay so now let us see the today's front page so before that i want to announce about this mains answer writing practice course so this mains answer writing practice course it had been started yesterday but because of this diwali and many of you might went to vacation diwali vacation and some might have not attended the hostels right so because of this we are we are most for not postponed but we are extending this date so you can have admissions by this week by end of this week and even you can get this admissions by 20th of november also don't worry so here in this course we are covering entire your gs like your gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 and even you are covering essay and as well as case studies also so daily you will be getting one question so this is daily mains answer writing practice course to improve your answer writing skills and to maintain discipline and consistency in you yes we came up with this course so we will providing you the questions based on the schedule okay so we are going to give you one year schedule like what you have to read in which week so based on the schedule you will be getting daily one question so to that question you need to write answer and you have to send your answer to our mail id so that there will be detailed evaluation of your answer and we provide you the feedback and on every sunday we will be having live class so in that live class we are going to have essay writing practice online and as well as case study practice and even some important topics we are going to have the discussion so there we are also going to talk about even what are the problems you are facing and that will be also your doubt clearing sessions and apart from this we will be also providing you one to one mentorship guidance also so for all these things the price of this course is 8200 rupees only and if you can't pay this amount in one go 
you can pay in two installments as well so don't waste your time because time if you're investing in time we can't get the time back so if you're investing in money yes we can bring back that money right so try to invest in this course and improve your answer writing for sure and those classes will be taken by me and i will be providing you the personal guidance so if you have any queries regarding this course you can call me on this number 8074765513 and even this is whatsapp number you can text me on whatsapp also okay so that's all and let us go back to our paper and let us see the first topic so this article is about retail inflation eases to a four month low of 4.87 percentage in october so if you go back to 2020 so i don't know how many of you started preparation from 2020 so please let me know how many of you started your preparation from 2020 or even before 2020 so that you will be connecting with the things that i am seeing now so if you are new then you have to focus more okay so in 2020 onwards so what is the specialty of this 2020 so that time we came up with this COVID-19. So because of this COVID-19, almost all economies, they got disrupted. They had been collapsed, literally. So even India also faced economic crisis. So at that time, supply chain disruptions happened. So there is closure of manufacturing sector. Only the sector which showed the positive growth is agriculture sector that to three to four percentage not more than that only one sector that showed the positive growth is agriculture and even industry sector construction sector like cement uh, electricity everything they got have negative growth so from that time onwards from 2020 onwards we are facing this inflation there is increased price of goods and services in the market and from that time onwards till now there is no perfect recovery by not only india but even other countries also there is no perfect recovery so here this article says that re uh, retail inflation which had been eased now it is 4.87 percentage so normal limits that we need to maintain inflation is 4 plus or minus 2 that means 2 to 6 percentage now it is within limits okay so that is the thing so here what are the things that you need to know so first one is you have to know what is the meaning of inflation so what is the meaning of inflation inflation is nothing but whenever there is increased prices of goods and service in the market that condition is called inflation so how many types we have two types first one is retail inflation and second one is wholesale inflation so retail inflation is measured by cpi that is consumer price index and in this consumer price index again we have four and next one is wholesale price or wholesale inflation so this wholesale inflation that can be measured by this wpi that is wholesale price index and you have to see like different types of inflation different kinds of inflation like we have cost to push inflation demand to pull inflation and also built in inflation built in inflation demand pull and cost to push inflation and you have to see what are the reasons of this inflation you have to see what are the reasons and even you have to see what is the impact and one more thing here is so here retail inflation is 4.87 yes it is under the normal limits so here my question is why we need to measure why we need to measure inflation why we need to measure inflation so this is my question so please let me know the answer for this question so why we need to measure inflation so what happens if you are not measuring inflation 
So these all are the dimensions that you need to think about regarding this very small article. So in this way, you have to cover current effects. I hope you understand like how to connect the dynamic with your static. If yes, type 1 in the comment box. If no, type 2. And next up here is 3 Indian cities among world's most polluted. So it is according to Swiss firm. So Swiss firm IQ Air came up with a study and said that top 3 cities which are world's most polluted they are present in India. So first one is Delhi. So here you have to see some important dimensions regarding so what it is measuring exactly. So this Swiss firm will be measuring PM 2.5 that is particulate matter 2.5. So what is it? Right, and what is the impact of pollution? So, those things that you have to remember, and that's all. So, this is the first page, and you can leave the city page. There is nothing much important in the city page today, so you can directly move on to the states page. So, in the states page, also we have most of the articles which are political articles, but here you can see one article is about cocaine. Cocaine worth rupees 15 crores seized in Mumbai. So here this article we can connect with drug trafficking or drug smuggling. Yes or no? So here you have to see the examples of drugs which are mostly trafficked and where the drug trafficking routes are there normally waterways. For example, East Coast and West Coast are very much vulnerable to this drug trafficking and even North Eastern states and Western states of our country also much vulnerable. And you have to see the location of India, why drug trafficking is happening because of presence of Golden Triangle and as well as Golden Crescent, India is present here, right? So because of this, what happened? Drug trafficking will happen. And one more thing here is you have to see what will be the impact of this drug trafficking. What will be the impact of drug trafficking? So one article that I read, I think around two months ago. So that melted my heart, really. So how many of you are from Punjab and Haryana region? So please let me know in the comment box. So Punjab region, so mostly affected by this drug trafficking. So most of the people around 90% of people who are present in Punjab, they had habit of taking drugs. So now they are, they are facing problem, especially the government of Punjab is facing problem of how can we go for drug rehabilitation. And many people who stop taking the drugs, they are facing drug withdrawal syndrome so this is a big big issue actually which is faced by Punjab so if you are from Punjab you will be knowing the ground reality more than a person who had read this article somewhere yes or no like me so please let me know your experience if you are from Punjab like what is the real situation in the Punjab so that others who are reading the comments then they will be also getting to know about, yes, the harsh reality of this pancha. Right, so in this way, let us have a discussion. So if there is anything which is coming in the newspaper, I will be asking you the people who are the locals of that area so that you have the good experience than us. Yes, so if, I'm, if anything is happening in our state of uh, Telangana, then I will let you know, okay, don't worry. And now let us move on. So in this page also there is nothing much important. Yes, in this editorial page, so this article which talks about slow down of industrial output. So that we discussed in our last class. And this topic it is about delimitation. So this delimitation is very important topic under your polity which comes under your GS paper too. And this topic is important from both your prelims and as well as means. This topic is important from your prelims and as well as means. 
so here this article says that indian member of parliament so from india how many mps are there so mps are nothing but members of parliament who are present in both lok sabha and as well as rajya sabha so how many members are there in lok sabha we have 543 and in rajya sabha 245 members so if you are counting mps for population so there is one mp for 2.5 million population but if you seek the same scenario in other countries for example like us it is just 7 lakh for 7 lakh citizens we have one representative and even pakistan nearby our neighbor country so it is a representative of 6 lakh citizens for what happened to india so and this data which is going to be changed soon if you are going to get the census because according to united nations population prospect report unppr it said that india is the most populous country soon even we are going to beat china so if i get in the results okay or data of 2021 census which has been delayed then this data will be also be changed so it might be more yes or no yes right yes so here this article says that we need more representation so that we can go for delimitation so we have to divide into more constituencies so that we can have the more number of mps but if you want to get the more number of mps we have to go for constitution amendment act right so here we are going to focus on what is this delimitation and is ex uh, exclusively important from your polity which comes under your gs paper 2 and let us move on and next topic is remission of diabetes desirable but not essential so here this article is talking about diabetes so diabetes is ncd so what is ncd non communicable disease so what is the condition of diabetes so there is increased blood sugar level so there is increased blood sugar level that means the glucose level will be high in the blood so why high in the blood so because of lack of hormone so it is at hormone that is called as insulin so insulin is a hormone that will convert blood glucose into glycogen okay so our blood glucose is converted into glycogen by this insulin so from where from which body part this insulin is secreted so this insulin is secreted by pancreas so pancreas will secrete this insulin it will convert blood glucose into glycogen so how many of you follow fasting anyone during different events like uh, festivals so how many of you are going for fasting so have you ever observed like so when you started fasting first initially for one hour or two hours you will be feeling hungry so after that you will be not feeling hungry have you ever observed this so why why because whatever the glycogen is present in your body that will be converted into glucose and that will be giving energy to you so this conversion of glycogen to glucose is done by glucagon okay it is done by glucagon so what happened is diabetes is there is no insulin so here we can divide this diabetes into three types type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes so type 1 diabetes is insulin is itself it is not produced so in type 1 diabetes so whatever the insulin is there it is 
not produced there is no insulin here so in this type 2 diabetes yes insulin is produced by this pancreas but we have resistance that is called as insulin resistance so we studied about this antimicrobial resistance right so in the same way cells will be not responding to this insulin that condition is called as insulin resistance that is seen in this type 2 diabetes mellitus and in this gestation diabetes it is nothing but so women they will be having this diabetes that will come in the pregnancy period so even i got this gestational diabetes it and after once delivery is done yes you will be restoring the normal sugar levels right so these are the different types so this article is typing talking about this type 2 diabetes mellitus so now what happen in in many news debates and even many articles so they are talking about reversal of this diabetes they are talking about reversal of this diabetes so have you ever seen an ad of a homeopathy international so they will be saying that yes there is reversal of diabetes mellitus and they will be showing one character of a old man and he is facing a problem of diabetes but after taking the treatment so he will be taking gulab jamun red color gulab jamun it is a more tempting ad actually but here it is not the thing going to happen but it but that condition is called as remission of diabetes that condition is called as remission but not reversal so here you have to know about what is that remission of diabetes and here this article said about we can go for a b c d approach so this article you can get uh, like prelims question but this article is very much important from for your life because of changing of lifestyle modifications you are sitting long time for preparing and you will be taking the junk food rather than home food so because of this there is high incidence of diabetes mellitus in our country and even in age people they are getting this diabetes so this article will be helpful to stay to stay a long and healthy life for my students at least so i want to discuss this in detail okay so that's all and if you move on here you can see madhya pradesh is the bottom half of the state level rankings so in all the rankings so which is the state which is having the low rank that is madhya pradesh for example you can take the things like stunted children wasted children underweight children household with any member covered under health insurance population use with a uh, sanitation female population okay women who are married before 18 years of age infant mortality so in all these indices mp's rank is very low so how many of you are from mp so if you are from mp so please let me know what are the reasons for the low rankings in mp so what your government is taking so what are the steps taking by your government for example in our state in telangana state so government started providing nutrition kits for women who are pregnant but unfortunately i didn't get those uh, nutrition kits i applied but i didn't get so here especially pregnant women they will be facing anemia and even especially in rural areas so they do not have the proper diet so a government started providing this nutrition kits to improve the at least health of women so please let me know like what are the measures that are taken by your state to control this indicators okay and now let us move on in this text and context there is article regarding forest conservation amendment act 2023 and what are the concerns and we are going to see this in detail and if you move on to this news page there is one article that is 40 workers they trapped in the tunnel in uttarkashi safe rescue efforts on so what happened in, in uttarkashi region so under construction tunnel had been collapsed and about 40 workers they had been trapped so here you have to ro- see about role of ndr and state disaster response force okay in this region 
right? So if any disaster happens, so what is the role played by them? That is very important. And here there is one article that is Central Extends UAPA Ban on 8 Meaty Extremist Organizations. So here you have to focus on the keyword that is Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Already we discussed that number of times and please do revise those topic. And you can leave this assembly polls. And here you can see Delhi is the most polluted uh, city in the world, says Swiss for survey. And you are going to see this detail. Yeah, that's all. So these are the very important articles that appeared in our today's Hindu newspaper. And now let us see our notes. So try to join this course. It is very useful. Okay. So please let me know how many of you are going to join this course. And the first topic we are going to discuss it is about Delhi. It is the most polluted city in the world, says Swisswar survey. So if you see the context, it says that day after Diwali. So how many of you, uh, how many of you burnt crackers? Please tell me. Okay, don't forget. So how many of you burnt crackers and which type of crackers that you burnt? And while you are burning the crackers, so which type of colors they released? So please let me know okay so based on the colors you can identify which chemical they used so here the context says that the day after diwali three indian metropolitan police uh, police uh, figured on the list of the most polluted cities in the world which compiled by swiss air purifier company iq air so swiss company which came up with the report and said that so, India has the three most polluted cities after this day of Diwali. So, what happened during this Diwali festival? So, especially children, not only children, but also youth, they are most interested in burning the crackers. Right? So, whenever they are burning the crackers, so they will contain a lot of chemicals. And whenever they are exploding, have you ever seen they are releasing a lot of amount of smoke? And one more important thing I can share here is, so we will be having small black color round pellets like thing. It will be like looking like a tablet. And if you fire them suddenly it will, it will come like this. Okay. And we used to call them as snake. Okay. Snake bomb like that. So whenever we are burning this type of cracker. So that will be releasing a lot of lot of smoke. And even you can see like ash is also coming from that. So because of burning or firing of crackers, that releases lot of pollutants into atmosphere. Okay, lot of pollutants in atmosphere. And the area which we are living, so on that day of Diwali, like even it was like one o'clock in the night, but there is no stopping of sounds of crackers. So my kids are like uh, crying a lot, but I can't maintain my kids because it is unavoidable. I can't go and I can't say like, please stop, stop firing the crackers. So because of that large sound, just they were very, very small, like they were just five months old. So they used to, they cried a lot and I was like uncontrolling them till two o'clock in the night. So there was no sleep at all on that day. So here, because of this firing of crackers that causes sound pollution, that causes air pollution, everything, what not. So this article says that, here, because of this firing of crackers, that led to increasing of particulate matter 2.5 pollution. So, those three important uh, cities are, first one is here Delhi, as usual, second one is uh, Mumbai, and next one is Kolkata. So, these are the three important metropolitan cities you are facing this bad air quality. So, if you are talking about this PM 2.5, what is it exactly? So, PM 2.5 is also called as particulate matter 2.5. It is an atmospheric particulate matter of diameter which is less than 2.5 micrometers. So, it will be like around 3 percentage of diameter of human hair. That is very, very less. And this PM 2.5 particles, you are small enough to penetrate deep into the lungs. And even they can enter the bloodstream. And in long term exposure to this PM 2.5, 
that will also cause us lung cancer. So this PM 2.5 that will cause us lung cancer, heart disease, stroke and other chronic health conditions. And what are the initiatives taken by our government of India to control this air pollution? Yes, government at the central level and as well as at the state level, they came up with taking a lot of initiatives. So one such initiative here is Safar Portal, Air Quality Index and Push for Electric Vehicles, Commission for Air Quality Management and Turbo Happy Cedar Machines to control stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana region. And I want to give you one prelims question. So please try to give answer for this question. That is in the cities of our country, which among the following atmospheric gases are normally considered as calculating the value of air quality index. So first one is carbon dioxide. So it is talking about, so which are the pollutants that we are going to measure in the air quality index. So answer is very easy. So please let me know. So, 1 is carbon dioxide, 2 is carbon monoxide, 3 is nitrogen dioxide, 4 is sulfur dioxide, 5 is methane. So, which will be measured? So, I will be waiting for the answers. Okay, so please try to give the answer well whenever I am giving the question. So, that that will help for you only. Not, it will be not helping for me. Okay. And next topic is about retail inflation. So what this article says, so the inflation which is decreased in the month of October. So what is the meaning of this retail inflation? So retail inflation is also known as CPI, that is Consumer Price Index. So retail inflation is also known as Consumer Price Index. Okay, sorry, it is known as Consumer Price Index Inflation. So this retail inflation is measured by this CPI. So it is nothing but the rate at which the prices of goods and services that consumer buy from for its personal use increase over the time. For example, I am going to nearby shop to get toothpaste or soap, but if the price had been increased, that is called as retail inflation. Retail inflation in the terms of consumer. So it measures the change in the cost of the basket of goods and services that are typically purchased by households including food, clothing, housing, transportation and medical care. So if we are talking about the types, four types we have that is CPI for industrial workers, CPI for agricultural laborers, rural laborers and non-manual employees. So actually these three that is industrial workers, agricultural laborers and, and rural laborers, they will be compiled by labor bureau. And this last one, CPI for urban non-manual employers, it is combined, that will be released by MOSP, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. So what is the need? The first one is we have to focus on price stability. So inflation erodes the value of money, which makes it harder for the people to plan their finances. That can lead to economic instability. Yes, why? Because if we are not measuring means, we don't know like how the price is increasing and decreasing. So if we want to maintain the price stability and economic stability, yes, we need to measure this. So by monitoring this inflation, policy makers, they can take some steps to maintain price stability. So if there is no price stability means it will be very much harmful for the poor people. And next one here is consumer and business confidence. So whenever inflation is low and stable, it will provide consumers and businesses with confidence in the economy so that it will be encouraging the people to spend and to invest more. An important one here is interest rates. So if you are measuring inflation, then based on that only RBI will be deciding the interest rates, whether to increase interest rate or whether to decrease interest rate. And this one is even whenever we are having the high inflation, so whenever the price of goods are increasing in Indian market, if you are taking the same goods to international market, so our goods will not be competitive with the other countries goods, so that it will be affecting the exports. So to control that, yes, we need to monitor inflation. So these are the some important advantages 
why we need to measure this inflation. I hope this is very much clear. If you want to add any more points, so please add those points also. And next topic it is about diabetes. So we are going to discuss that in detail. So here we have to focus on the concept called as remission of diabetes. So normally the concept of reversal of diabetes has become very popular recently because of lot of misguided advertisements. Several commercial organizations they jumper of reversal of diabetes and they are making tall claims. So because of this we need to understand the pros and cons. So what exactly is this remission of diabetes? So the term here reversal of diabetes is scientifically incorrect. It is nothing but the remission of diabetes. That means for some time here we can control this diabetes. So reversal impacts at the condition which is permanently reverted to normal. But it is not happening. But it is remission. Remission implies that diabetes has only gone away temporary only for the temporary period. So this diabetes has gone. So if you see some details which are given in this article, it says that according to our recent ICMR study, currently that means in India at present there are about 101 million people we are facing with this diabetes. And out of that 30, 136 million people, they are having the pre-diabetes in India. And in those with pre-diabetes, preventing the majority of these individuals from developing diabetes for a considerable number of years is possible. Yes, if you are not getting the diabetes, but you are having the chance of getting diabetes. So if you are having the, some lifestyle, lifestyle changes, yes, automatically you can avoid this diabetes. So this is the thing which mainly said. So for this, we have to follow this ABCD guidelines. So A is we have to focus on glycated hemoglobin. So this glycated hemoglobin should be below 7% and B for blood pressure. So blood pressure should be maintained properly and should be less than 130 by 80 mm of HD and cholesterol LDL. It is a harmful cholesterol. It should be less than 50 mg per DL or at least below 70 mg per DL. Our next one is D. D means we have to focus on dietary. That means we have to focus on healthy diet and even discipline our life, exercise and frequent health checkups, etc. So with these A, B, C, D, we can reduce this diabetes growing condition in this pre-diabetic people. Okay, so this is about this topic. And now let us move on to next topic. It is about delimitation. So here this article says that an Indian MP is said to represent 2.5 million citizens on average. But if you see or if you are comparing with other countries like US, so one house of representative member, so he will represent around 7 lakh citizens. And even our neighboring country, that is our unfriendly, our four country, that is Pakistan, they are representing about 6 lakh of citizens. And even Bangladesh is also representing around 5 lakh of citizens. But India, we are having around 4,126 SLS, that is State Legislative Assembly, and 543 Lok Sabha MPs and 245 Rajya Sabha MPs. But even though the representation of people is very, very less. So here, because of this, we have to go for delimitation, again, dividing of constituency as per the population. So if we are talking about this delimitation, so what exactly is that? So according to election commission, according to election commission, the word delimitation is defined as it is the act or process of fixing limits or the process of fixing the boundaries of constituencies. So what are the constitutional provisions? Yes, we have article 82. Okay. So we have article 82 and article 170. So which empowers parliament. So power is given to parliament to readjust regarding the allocation of seats in Lok Sabha and as well as legislative assemblies of states based on the population. So that population need to be taken, that data can be taken from every census data. But 2021 census data, 
which have not been released. In fact, it has not been started yet because of this COVID-19 pandemic. So accordingly, so based on this census data, Parliament can enact the Delimitation Commission Act and an independent high-powered panel. Okay, so it is known as Delimitation Commission that can be constituted to carry out exercise of delimitation. And Parliament, which has enacted Delimitation Commission Act in 1952, 1962, 1972, and 2002 for this purpose. Okay, and we have to come up with new delimitation commission after once this data which has been released. So, here we are going to have this next delimitation commission in 2026 after we are going to get the data. And next topic is about Forest Conservation Amendment Act of 2023. So, this article says that community rights and forest conservation is very very important. So, whenever we are coming up with any amendment, so we have to focus on the forest and, these, and as well as the community which is dependent on that. Yes or no? Yes, right? So, the Forest Conservation Amendment Act of 2023 has received limited attention and it had little discussion about the impact on the forest and as well as its inhabitants. So, just they focused on development. And they want to curb the rights of these local communities who are dependent on them. So, from the colonial forest law in 1865 onwards till this Forest Amendment Act of 2023. So, we have more than 15 laws, acts and policies they have been formulated. And these policies, they start interlinking of forest with legal and as well as policy frameworks. So, however, there is very little to do with the recognition of the rights of the indigenous communities. Okay. So, if you see some important details, they said that Forest Conservation Amendment Act of 2023, which has the aims to determine how forest can be utilized for the economic gain rather than how it will be helpful for the indigenous population. So the primary method it is used to achieve its objective, it involves removing the forest from the lost jurisdiction okay so that as much as economic exploitation that can be done in the forest and this forest conservation act which is very very important and we came with amendments in 2016 and as well 2017 that stipulated the prayer consent that stipulated the prayer consent from tribal gram sabha which was mandatory for any alterations to forest for non-forest purposes. And despite the initial enthusiasm, it appears that both central and state governments, they have become less enthusiastic about implementing this Forest Rights Act in their states. So this is about this topic. And this is its main answer to course. So please do join this course. So, if you have belief and as well as trust on me, you can join this course. And I will surely, from my side, I will put 100% to improve your answer writing practice. And I will be personally guiding you students. Okay. And you can talk to me directly. So, these are the important articles that appear in our today's Hindu newspaper. And I want to show you where, from where you can get this. From where you can get this notes downloaded. So, you can get this notes that can be downloaded from telegram channel. So, that telegram channel name is Sator Science Classes. So, you can open the telegram channel and do search Sator Science Classes and even the link is given in the description box. Okay. So, that you can join that channel. You can get notes of this class. And one more thing here is please do subscribe to this Rathors IS Academy YouTube channel. Okay, so if you really like this class, hit the like button and don't forget to share this video to your friends also. Thank you so much for watching.